Muy buenas noches uh, para esos padres que quisieran escuchar esta presentación en español. Se va a estar dando en la cafetería. Si hay alguien aquí que quiere escuchar la, uh, la presentación en español, se está dando en la cafetería que está al final del pasillo. Gracias. We'll begin in about three minutes, all right? We're going to wait for some more families to come in. Thanks.
right, good evening. My name is Emily Tian, and I'm from the Consortia Office of Montgomery County Public Schools, and thank you so much for taking your time to come this evening. It's actually exciting because we are live streaming this, because typically I'm looking out like a literally full auditorium, but I think many families are out there watching us, and I'm hoping that it's working. Um, so if I could remind everybody to please silence their cell phones, I would appreciate it. So again, you're going to hear tonight a little bit about each of the three middle school magnet consortium schools. So you can hear what's special about them, you're gonna hear from students who attend the school, et cetera, and most importantly, you have open house dates in your packet of information, all right? Now, this meeting will not talk about the application magnet programs at Clemente, Tacoma Park, or Eastern Middle School. The green sheet in your packet will give you information about that, all right? So, the yellow sheet in your packet, the first top sheet, has the contact information for the coordinators of these three programs and the open house dates on the back side. Okay, so if you flip it over, you'll see this open house dates. Oh, it works, good. Okay, so like I said, we're going to highlight opportunities that are found at these three great schools. I'd first like to briefly introduce the principals and the coordinators of each of those three schools. All right, so we have Mr. James Allrich, principal of Argyle Middle School, and the coordinator, Ms. Melvies Powell. And next, we have Ms. Nicole Sasik from Loiterman. She's the principal at Loiterman Middle School. With her coordinator, Ms. Megan McLaughlin. And we have Mr. Kevin Yates, who is the coordinator of the program at Parkland Middle School along with the principal, Ms. Connie Young. Okay. They will be out in the hallway at their tables after this presentation, so you can ask them any questions, okay? All right, so why was the MSMC created? Uh, about 12 years ago, with a grant, the consortia was funded by this federal grant that lasted three years. And the main reasons the consortia was created were to add socioeconomic diversity to these three schools who had a very high poverty rate and to expand choices and opportunities offered in MCPS. Now, the grant has run out, so MCPS now internally funds these programs. Okay, so who can attend? Well, it's on your paper as well, but um, I would think just about everybody in this audience are considered out of the area of the MSMC because if you live in the area, your home elementary school would be one of those eight schools listed. Brookhaven, Georgian Forest, Harmony Hills, Sergeant Shriver, Strathmore, Veers Mill, Weller Road, or Wheaton Woods. Do I have anybody here who lives in one of these areas for these schools? No, okay. So yes, I was right that all of you are considered out of the area and you all have an opportunity to participate in the lottery to go to one of these three schools. If you actually lived in the area for these eight elementary schools, you are in the consortia and you are guaranteed a seat in one of these three schools because it's in the neighborhood, okay? So like I said, in consortia, you live literally in that geographic area and you're guaranteed a seat at one of the three schools. Out of consor consortium area is all the rest of you and you will participate, you can participate in the lottery system, which I'll tell you about in a little while. Okay, so again, if you see that yellow area, that's the geographic area for the MSMC. Now, is transportation provided to go to these three schools? Because the grant ran out after three years, bus transportation is not provided for out of consortia 
students who attend these three schools. But the coordinators help coordinate carpool lists, and so many families attend these schools that that doesn't seem to be a problem. That's not an issue to prevent people from, from going to the schools. Actually, you're going to hear from some students who are out of the area, and yet they go and they've gone every day for the last three years to these three schools. Okay, so the transportation is not provided, but they will help you with the carpool lists. All right, so what's unique about these three schools? Uh, they have a whole school magnet theme. So you're going to hear a little bit about each of them, okay? So they're normal middle schools. They have normal middle school curricula. They have to have math, social studies, English, um, foreign language, PE, art, etc. But what makes them unique are some special elective classes that you're going to hear about, all right? And each of the three schools has a certain theme that um, that makes up these elective classes. So again, like I said, typical MCPS curricula, et cetera, uh, rigorous coursework. It's just that you have some extra special elective classes that are offered that are not offered at other middle schools. Okay, so we're going to now hear from the three schools, and I'm going to first ask Miss. Um, Powell and her student from Argyle to come up to speak to you. Good evening. Oh, we got to do better than that. Good evening, MCPS family. Good, good, good. I am Melvies Powell, and I'm the Magnet Coordinator from Argyle Magnet Middle School for Digital Design and Development. This evening, Sophia and I will share some information and personal experiences about the Magnet Program and the unique courses our students get the opportunity to engage in as Argyle Eagles. To the students in the room, do you like developing video games? What about creating video productions? Are you interested in learning how to live stream a video? Or better yet, do we have any female students who love to code? Ooh. If so, then Argyle Magnet School is the place for you. In our technology-centered school, students have opportunities to work co collaboratively to create and design using state-of-the-art technology. Through our carefully designed courses, students interact with technology that ranges from video game creation, computer programming and computer art, to cell phone app development, graphic design, yearbook production, and we even offer a new high school course, which is known as Foundations of Computer Science. In this course, students learn the fundamentals of computer science and have the opportunity to earn their high school technology ed education credit. The unique learning experiences in these courses encourage students to think outside the box. Technology that students regularly get to use include MacBook Pros, Alienware laptops, and Lego robots. Students are able to access technology to extend their learning as we house 31 mobile Chromebook carts and 10 computer labs. Since classroom walls have expanded with technologies connecting students to the wider global community, instead of teachers standing front and center to deliver instruction, they are on the move observing, asking questions, and guiding students to make their own sense of the world, to be able to solve problems in our complex, fast-changing world. Students must become creative thinkers who can work well with others. At Argyle, teachers will encourage your student to collaborate, be creative, effectively communicate, and develop and demonstrate critical thinking skills. In addition to our innovative technologies, Argyle has a milestone, mile marker, and capstone program at each grade level. 
sixth grade students learn how to create an academic e-portfolio. Seventh graders participate in various technology project experiences designed by our ingenious technology instructors. And our eighth, grader student, eighth grade students work with a variety of community business partners, such as Junior Achievement, Digit Games, and Microsoft to create and develop tangible technology products. Last school year, our eighth grade students worked with Digit Games to create an app that was used in the MCPS fifth grade challenge competition. Additionally, these students also created a website to advertise for the upcoming game show and the educational services Digit Games provides. As you can see, Argonne has something for every type of technology guru. If you like to see an up close and personal view of what we do best at Argyle, I invite you to come out and attend our magnet open house on October 11th from 7 to 9 p.m. at Argyle. To the future Argyle Eagles in the room, I look forward to seeing you then. And remember, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. We look forward to you joining the Argyle family. Podium and a microphone. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. My name is Sophia Kelsch. I am in eighth grade now, but I used to go to Strathmore Elementary. Today, I attend Argyle Magnet Middle School. Argyle was wonderful. It builds up not only knowledge and skills, but friendships and memories to last a lifetime. There are so many aspects of Argyle that make it special. One of my favorites is all the technology courses offered, from programming fundamentals to innovative minds and computer science. We have 10 computer labs filled with a variety of desktops, Alienwares, and Chromebooks for every day. Argyle is always ready to equip its students with experience in technology fields that most others don't learn until high school or even college, not to mention all the other programs besides technology that Argyle has to offer. From after school EBB, Excel Beyond the Bell, and our sports teams and clubs, to acting and drama classes, there are always extra ways to express yourself. We have girls who code for aspiring young females and Argyle ambassadors for students who want to help run the Argyle community, as well as STEM Day for students. I participate in Argyle's tennis club, drama club, cosmic teens, and an Argyle ambassador two years running. Argyle also has an incredibly diverse student and staff body. No matter your background, gender, or race, everyone is welcome. We show off our diversity in multicultural night, where all different backgrounds come together to share what they do. Traditional dances are shown, beautiful outfits are presented, and unique food is ready for you to taste. I wear my German dirndl and serve spatial and brats. When I was first leaving Strathmore, I was scared. I didn't know what to expect. Argyle welcomed me with open arms. After a while, it felt like a new home. Besides, there were plenty of perks. For one thing, I got to choose three electives. It gave me great opportunities to meet new people and make lots of friends, and more time to do what I loved. Even though I did personally love my reading, writing, and math, I now had the option of taking music for a whole class period. I received in-depth lessons and unforgettable experiences, along with my own locker. Argyle also has exciting events, such as the back-to-school picnic, where, where all grades are invited to come and participate in games and fun. Sixth graders can receive and decorate their lockers then. Ambassadors get to help out at events such as this, and in return earn SSL hours. We also have capstone night, where technology students can prevent, present a final project from their technology classes to show what they know. I have participated in sixth and seventh grade, and I cannot wait to do it again to, this year to be judged in our very own Shark Tank. Argyle has many other special programs for students. I was in a sixth grade program called Project Success, where a group of students are in four classes together with the same teacher in the same classroom to build a family environment. We could go the extra step in experiments and simulation because of the do double class overlap and expand our learning experience. We even raised rainbow trout in the classroom and released them into the local wilderness. With the lovable classes, however, came some tough challenges. I remember in sixth grade, one of my elective classes was programming fundamentals. I love learning how to create games and code in new software, such as Scratch and Game Maker, but it was definitely hard. My teacher didn't hold our hand through the tough spots. We had to problem solve and figure out the kinks ourselves. I loved it. The challenge of new independence combined with the creative freedom of our assignment designs opened a door to a whole new side of me I didn't even know. 
I grew as a person as well as a student. In fact, all of my classes from Argyle have made me the person you see today. Don't believe me about Argyle and its incredible courses? Don't just take my word for it. Come to our open house on October 11th from 7 to 9 p.m. Learn about Argyle from our administration and supporting organizations. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you all again. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Megan McLaughlin and her student Memore from Loiterman Middle School. Good evening, and thank you for coming tonight. My name is Megan McLaughlin, and I am the proud magnet coordinator at Loiterman Middle School for the Creative and Performing Arts. I am a mother, an administrator, and most importantly, an artist. The arts are in all of us. It's ingrained in our nature as humans to appreciate the visual and performing arts. We've all had that moment where we wanted to be up on the stage or to have our artwork on display. At Loiterman, we offer that time in the spotlight to all of our students. Life at Loiterman is fantastic. We ensure that our students are academically and artistically successful. For example, last school year, we initiated our largest group of students into our chapter of the National Junior Honors Society. We also have a host of students doing great things for the school. This past weekend, in fact, some of our students performed a musical piece at the Wheaton Arts Parade. Countless numbers of our students have won Young Artist Awards at the county and the state level. We always encourage our students to submit their work in different art competitions whenever the opportunity presents itself. Life at, oh, I'm sorry. What makes Loiterman so unique is the fact that students can thrive in the arts and still excel in all of the major content areas. Did I click? I call that being a well-rounded student, which is part of our mission. This year, our focus at Loiterman is to differentiate instruction in order to meet the various needs of all of our students. Our goal is to ensure that daily instruction allows both staff and students to work collaboratively in order to make learning both engaging and challenging. Our students have the option of taking high school credit courses in world languages and math. They can also earn high school credit by taking classes in the arts. For instance, we offer advanced theater, chorus, studio art, band, orchestra, filmmaking, and we are the only middle school in the state of Maryland to offer high school credit dance courses. To promote rigor throughout the entire building, all Loiterman students are taught advanced English in the World Studies curricula designed by MCPS. Do not allow the high level of challenge to be a deterrent, though. Our teachers are always available and willing to help during lunches, as well as before and after school. The arts do not end with the electives, however. All teachers at Loiterman are equipped with strategies like artful thinking, developed by Project Zero of Harvard University. Artful thinking provides our teachers a wide variety of strategies that enable them to challenge students to draw connections between art and other subjects, such as science and math, using critical thinking, analysis, and evaluation. In fact, each year we host a STEAM night where students showcase their talents in science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. Our students take four classes on an odd and even schedule, and because we are arts enthusiasts, we play music over the speaker system when we change classes. We observe paintings by student artists displayed throughout the halls, and we create masterpieces in all of our classrooms. As a musician myself, I've experienced the benefits of having a strong foundation in both the arts and music education. Several studies have shown that music education improves student language development, reading fluency, test scores, and spatial temporal skills. 
Finally, student artists will also be able to have memorable and unique experiences thanks to our generous partners, such as the Highwood Theater, Strathmore Performing Arts Center, and the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. We have endless opportunities for students to shine and express their creative sides. So make Loiterman your choice, the smart choice. You want to go back? Should I go back? Good evening, parents and prospective A. Mario Lloydeman students. My name is Mamori Aladay, and I'm an eighth grader at Lloydeman Middle School. I attended Fairland Elementary, which is an out of consortium school. I have come here today to talk to you about the possibility of becoming a part of the Lloydeman family, a family that I personally have grown to know and love. Before I start to discourse with you about my school, I would like to speak a little bit about myself and why I chose Loiterman. I am a passionate and well-achieved individual with a love for reading, writing, and performing. Although I love the arts, my love and encouragement for academic achievement has not diminished. I've been held to very high standards and receive all the support and help needed from my teachers in order to get where I need to be academically. In fact, I have managed to maintain a 4.0 GPA for the last seven consecutive quarters at Loiterman and have won over 12 awards for my involvement with the school. Over the duration of my stay at Loiterman, I have received the opportunity to engage and collaborate with many different types of people. It's been amazing. Loiterman is a warm and creative environment where the teachers challenge the students to succeed and give them all the support and resources they need to do so. Whether you are still in the process of deciding if Loiterman is the choice for you, or have already made the decision to send your child down that path, there is no denying that Loiterman's diverse and inclusive courses are a breath of relief from the courses at other middle schools. One of my personal favorite and most inventive class is theater. The thing that sets this class apart is the opportunities we are given to think differently, to create something original, something we can call our own. Another interesting class is dance, where students are given the opportunity to, and <laughs> the opportunity to learn different dance styles while communicating and working with their fellow dancers in order to prepare for the concert. Dance also gives students an opportunity to stay active while being involved in a learning setting. You can even earn high school credit once you qualify for advanced dance. And if you want to take the lead in creating and performing your own dances, feel free to check out our choreography class, where you can create dances throughout the school year and collaborate with other dances to construct dancers that could be featured in our concert. If you're an athlete interested in improving your skills, Loiterman offers a Dance for Athletes class to help you train for your sport. Loiterman provides unique classes to each and every one of its students. We also offer a multitude of classes that include technology, such as digital art and digital music. And of course, you can also join our award-winning band, chorus, or orchestra. Although I never quite had the skill to take these classes myself, I can say without a doubt, I've seen works of art, things I didn't even know were possible for middle school students. At Loiterman, not only have I had the opportunity to learn and grow as an artist, as a scholar, as a friend, I've also had the opportunity to watch my fellow classmates succeed in every aspect of their Loiterman career. And that just might have been the best part of the whole experience. My heart goes out to all of our teachers, Ms. Sosick, our principal, Ms. McLaughlin, our magnet coordinator, and all of our counselors who provide us with support so that we can all strive for excellence. Loyerman has so much to offer in terms of academics. There's also a variety of impressive after-school activities, including STEP Team, National Junior Honor Society, Girl Tech, SGA, and so much more. And how could I forget? Loiterman also offers sports such as soccer, basketball, cross country, as well as general sports. 
Listen. Whoever you are, and whatever your passions may be, I guarantee you that Lord Yaman has something for you. Because Lord Yaman had something for me. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I believe you can pursue those dreams at Lord Yaman. Thank you. Sorry, and now we have Mr. Kevin Yates, along with Kavi, his student. Good evening. My name is Kevin Yates, and I'm the Magnet Coordinator for Parkland Magnet Middle School, and I thank you all for coming out to hear about these wonderful programs. Um, every single one of these schools has something to offer and, and, and it's amazing that we have these opportunities here in Montgomery County. So thank you for taking the opportunity to hear about these great programs. So I'd like to take a moment to talk about what makes Parkland so special. The magnet program at Parkland is a whole school magnet where every student undergoes a, a unique science curriculum where they take two science classes each year within our eight period block schedule. Within the first two years, Parkland students will have completed the MCPS 6th grade through 8th grade science standards and curriculum. By 8th grade, every Parkland student has an opportunity to receive high school physical science credit by either taking honors physics or honors geoscience explorations. Weave throughout each course are connections with the aerospace field. For example, in the Mission to Planet Earth 6th grade class, our students use remote sensing data to study the Chesapeake Bay. In the Human Space Exploration course in 7th grade, not only do students study the different systems of the human body, but they understand how each is affected by prolonged exposure to microgravity. Furthermore, our students have the option to take a third science class throughout one of our many science electives, which include Introduction to Robotics, applied robotics and engineering, and principles of flight. By eighth grade, there are two more electives where students can receive a high school elective credit, which are introduction to engineering and design and astronomy. Along with our academic components of our magnet program, we strive to infuse critical thinking skills and real life experiences to help prepare our students to become college and career ready in the field of engineering, science, math, or anything else your child may be interested in. Every year, our students complete a yearly milestone project. In sixth grade, they focus on the scientific method. In seventh grade, students formulate their own testable question within the framework of the scientific method. By eighth grade, our students are using the engineering problem solving method. They identify a problem, research constraints, and provide an alternate solution. We have many after-school clubs and programs and activities such as the Robotics Club, Technology for Girls, Media Production, Fitness and Martial Arts, Environmental Club, STEM Club, Girls Leadership, Builders Club, Asian American Lead, Math Team, you get the idea. In addition to all of this, we have many unique and wonderful opportunities to partner with various aerospace and STEM programs and organizations. For example, Parkland won a $150,000 Tray Traywick grant with the Kid Museum, AFI Silver Theater, and Passion for Learning. This pays for us to have 72 of our students go on six field trips during the school year to the Kid Museum in Bethesda to create their own inventions. They work with mentors after school to create documentaries of their experiences. Parkland has an after school program, Alpha Best, which runs from 3 to 6 p.m., and that provides extended opportunities for our students to create and invent various objects to further their learning in the area of engineering and robotics outside the classroom. But enough from me. 
let's hear from our student, Kavi, who can tell you a little bit about the student experience at Parkland. Before I start, I would like to gladly thank our staff at Parkland. Without them, Parkland would just not be Parkland. Unlike many other schools, Parkland's extremely unique and different in its ways. We have, eight, we have an eight-period bell schedule. This means that you have four periods on one day and four of your periods on the next day. This way, it keeps cycling, and you get even days and odd days. For people who don't know, Parkland is an aerospace and technology school. This means that you can take up to three science classes. This allows you to be able to succeed in all your areas. I would really recommend Parkland over my home school. Personally, I'm a tech person. So for me, I take courses such as engineering, programming, and introduction to engineering design. In engineering, you get to build out of the world's contraptions using Legos to accomplish the task. In programming, you get to program robots to do what you tell it to do. In addition to that, you have the choice of taking an elective called IED where you can use real life materials to build a 100% working object. This could be anywhere from a real life mini fountain system to a regular wooden bowl. Not just that, but Parkland enables you to earn up to eight high school credits and one college credit just by the time that you finish middle school. But even like the other majority of people, you can take art if you like painting, or you can join our Parkland band if you love music. They also offer languages such as Chinese, French, and Spanish. More than that, though, there is such a wide variety of after-school activities. I take FLL Robotics, where we get to program robots to compete certain missions, at the and at the end of the day, we attend a competition to test out our core values and to be judged on our innovative design. We also received a grant this year to upgrade everything to the finest. We also have the best field trips, like the museum in Washington, D.C., and watch movies at the AFI Silver Theater, and, not, and much more. Not just that, but once a year, we also have a multicultural night where we all get together and share our different backgrounds. It's great to learn about where people come from. There's also tons of food from around the world. In addition to that, students can earn panther paws for their good behavior throughout the school year. You can spend these at the school store, enter raffles, and at the end of the year, you can spend them at a winter bazaar. And not just that, but Parkland also enables you to attend Science Montgomery. To conclude, if I were one of you, I would choose Parkland over all my options. It's the best. Wow. Let's give them all another round of applause, especially... Especially the student speakers, Sophia, Mamori, and Kavi. I really appreciate it. What, what great representations of the school. Now, they're going to go out in the hall to wait and get ready um, to answer your questions. I'm going to now go over some logistical stuff with you, and um, they'll be out in the main hall. Okay? All right. So... So you've heard a little bit about each school. Remember I told you that they each have a theme and they have special elective classes. Uh, so hopefully you've gotten a little taste of, of those classes. Okay. Um, their MSNC booklet is online if you wanted to look at some general information about it. Okay. So you're seeing my slide says after grade eight. And you're thinking, uh, I'm not even in grade six yet. Why are you talking about grade eight? I'm just letting you know that if you were to attend one of these three schools, you would be considered live, uh, in the Down County Consortium of high schools. So that in eighth grade, that actually opens up some more options for you um, in the Down County Consortium lottery. But again, just a little teaser, you can find out more in eighth grade about that. All right, so what is the choice process? What does it involve? All right, it's basically a lottery assignment system. 
And as I said earlier, those eight schools, every person, every student in the eight schools that are listed on your sheet will participate in the lottery process and is guaranteed, every one of them are guaranteed a spot in one of the three schools, okay? Now, out of consortium students, many, hundreds of people participate in the lottery as well. However, a place is not guaranteed for you because you have your home assigned middle school already. So, what's the lottery based on? There are some factors that are programmed into the lottery system. It is not a totally random lottery. Uh, for instance, the number of seats available is one of the factors. How people rank in the particular year is another factor. A sibling link is another factor. And the socioeconomic base status of the base middle school, of your home middle school, is also a factor. These are not factors, all right? There are no tests to take, no report card grades are looked at, there are no teacher recommendations, race is not a factor. And the other thing, the last two things are located, your participation level or your expertise in certain areas, they are not a factor either. So for instance, if you have been dancing since you were two years old and you do lots of theatrical performances all throughout elementary school does not mean you would be at a higher number, higher chance to get into Loiterman, all right? Or if you are a whiz computer programmer already, you do not have a higher chance to get into Argyle. So that sort of thing, none of these are factors in the lottery. So the timeline. Well, right now you're in the general meeting in September. October, on your yellow sheet, the back of it, three open houses. I totally recommend that you go. It is, they are not live streamed because you really need to get the experience. There's gonna be hands-on stuff you can do at each of the three schools, all right? Uh, they're all on Wednesday nights. I would get there, they all start at seven o'clock, but I would get there earlier because it gets packed. Like about a thousand people go to each of these meetings. So if you want a good parking spot, you should get there by 6.30. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about the choice forms in a minute, but in middle of October, in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, um, they will be available to you, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Then you have to submit the choice, your choices by November 3rd, November 3rd. And there's some extra dates about what happens afterwards. It's around mid-February that you will be notified. So when you participate in the lottery by early November, Somewhere in early to mid-February, you will get the results of what the lottery um, did for you, okay? And again, depending on those results, you will have further information about what else you can do. So I'm not gonna go into these details right here. So how do you get this choice form? Well, if you were an in-consortia student, you know, that you live in the area of those eight elementary schools and you attend one of those eight elementary schools, your counselor or teacher would just give you the form. It's a individualized personal form and you would just get it from your teacher if you were in the consortia. But since all of you are out of the consortia, we actually have a new and very easy way to submit, complete and submit your choices if you wanna participate. Um, this will be on the website, but starting around mid-October, it is not available yet, starting around middle of October, each of your students, MCPS students, you have a Google account, right? Raise your hand if you know your Google account that you use your, your you sign into your Chromebooks every day. Good, so parents, your student has an MCPS account. They would log in to their account, whatever computer, at home, library, wherever, on your phone, and you would go to that website, bit.ly slash choice MSMC. Again, that will be on our website, et cetera. It's actually in the mailing that you were given, um, that you should have received in the mail by now. And it's just a very simple few questions that you answer online. The parents will then submit their email address. They will answer a couple of questions, sort of verifying that you're giving your child permission to do this, and then you hit submit. So it's just a few questions, you hit submit, then the parent's email, whatever email address they submitted, 
you will get a confirmation email about the choices you submitted. Okay, easy as that, very simple. Now, this is the form, but basically, I know you can't see it very well, but it's really just a handful of questions. You put your first, second, third choice. If you have second and third choices, um, you answer a couple of evaluation questions. There's a couple of other things you have to just initial, you know, electronically, and you type in your contact information, and that's it. Again, everything's gonna be online and it would probably take two or three minutes. So I just summarized all of that. Okay, so now I know, I know you're thinking of certain questions and these are the frequently asked questions section. First, a lot of people wonder, well what are the differences between these three programs and the application programs at Tacoma Park, Clemente and Eastern? Um, there are a few differences where those three application programs, they also have a theme, but the kids who um, get invited to those programs, they have three classes together that relate to the theme of either math science or humanities, depending on the program. Whereas here, you heard that it's a whole school magnet, so the theme is sort of um, available to anybody who goes to those three schools, MSMC schools. So you can, at Loiterman, Parkland, or Argyle, you can take any of those elective classes, right? And the other main difference is that those Clemente, Tacoma Park, and Eastern, um, there, are, there is a test you would take and a selection process to get in, okay? There's more information on your green sheet about Roberta Clemente, Tacoma Park and Eastern. I highly encourage you to go to those meetings as well. It's gonna be a busy October, but it's really worth it. You can go and hear about those programs, okay? Some of you who have kids who are older may have noticed, um, yes, Tacoma Park and Eastern's meetings will be combined this year. All right, so I highly urge you to go October 12th to the combined one if you live in those areas and it's gonna be at Montgomery Blair High School, but more information is on your green sheet, okay? Now, you can participate in both types of programs. So if you go to the open houses and you really love all three schools, you do have to sort of select what's your first preference, what's your second preference, your third preference, you submit that choice form online on your phone, on your computer, totally do that by November 3rd. Then depending on where you live, if you live in the Clemente, Roberto Clemente, Gaithersburg, Germantown area, Clarksburg area, you are totally welcome if you're interested in those programs, you can actually apply to Roberto Clemente as well. You can do both the choice and the application programs. Just like, um, you know, you can participate with the Tacoma Park and Eastern as well, along with this lottery process, it's fine. You can, you can do both things. You'll be notified about the same time in February for, for either the application programs or these, uh, the lottery system here. Okay, now, the in consortia is guaranteed a seat because they need to go to one of these middle schools, all right? Not guaranteed their first choice, but every, again, that program, that algorithm is, um, uh, programs so that they maximize first choices. So for instance, last year, 94% of the students got their first choice. So I know this is the big question on your mind. Well, how many seats are available for the out of area students, which you all are? So there are 80 seats available for sixth grade at each of the three schools. So that's 240 spots, okay? And every year we get more and more interest. Last year we had over 900 out of the area people participate in the lottery system for those 240 spots. All right, when I first came about six, seven years ago, there were about 600 people who were interested in the out of area. So it's just risen, you know, grown every year. Um, again, they offer the same academic and educational services, all MCPS middle schools. The difference is they offer some specialized elective classes. All MCPS middle schools offer high school credits for certain classes. Oh, and um, 
if you actually have a current sixth grader, they actually can participate also in the lottery, same time period in November for seventh and eighth grade for the next two years for one of these three schools. You would just download one of the forms on our website. Not a lot of people do that, but it is an option for sixth graders right now. So if you never saw, if you didn't get to see on your sheet, these are the three open house dates, October 11th, for Argyle, the 18th for Parkland, and the 25th for Loiterman. They're all on Wednesday night starting at 7 p.m., but do get there early because it really gets packed. And I highly encourage you to go with your students because they can do some hands-on stuff there. Okay. Now, and then that is the information for each of the coordinators, but they all have their cards out there. And um, I know that was a lot of information, you have a lot of fun and interesting evening meetings to attend in October, and I encourage you to do that, and I hope you have a great school year, and I really appreciate you coming out and taking time to listen to our presentation. Thank you very much for attending.